Hello and Lunjun and in today's video I'll be showing you how to win without any legendaries and possibly the best deck without any legendaries in the entire game. I found this deck out myself and if you have any tweaks or suggestions on how to improve on this deck please let me know in the comments down below on this video. The reason I'm making this video is because I always come across from my viewers that they don't have a specific legendary dice shown in the video or they just don't have enough legendaries to climb ladder. Without further more talking, let's get right into the video. I have thought and thought for a very long time about this topic. I always feel bad for the people who don't have enough legendaries or have no legendaries to have fun in PvP. So I began my research and my first question was, what is the best DPS size that isn't or doesn't require a legendary? That question was easy enough to answer though. Mighty Wind isn't a very reliable DPS dice on higher classes without a multi-stalling dice such as Blizzard and Sand. Solar is a legendary, Typhoon is a legendary, Modify Electric dice pretty much relies on growth and light gun nerf, Iron cannot stand after round 2, and so on. My best option for a DPS dice was the one and only Gear dice. What is a good dice that can support a gear dice? Well, the first thing that came up to my mind was the crit dice since it got buffed recently and it works very well alongside the gear dice. If you don't have a good crit percentage, get your shit up you bo- Honestly, it just really depends on the gear dice. Gear dice does high damage so it's okay if you don't have a massive crit percentage over 1500. Another support dice is of course the switch dice. If you want to put your gears together, you need a switch dice. This is self-explanatory, so I'll put an end to this subject. Of course, if you have two slots left, it's obviously the Joker plus Kuro. Loonjun, this is a no legendary video, you're not supposed to say anything legendary related. Oh sorry, my bad, I forgot about this. There is another combo that works very much like Kuro. Nah, it actually doesn't, but it still works. Kinda? Nick Mana! Anyway, the combo is Sacrifice and Mimic as you might have guessed. Play like a normal gear deck meaning you always want to put those gears together like a family. The crit can go anywhere in the first few rounds so don't worry too much about placement for now for the crit. But later rounds, crit dice does affect your gameplay so always try and put a high crit next to some other high gear dice. That is pretty much it and I really don't want to make a 10 minute long video just explaining how to put gears together so I'll just show you with some gameplay after. Anyway, thanks for watching this very short video and hopefully you can win more games without legendary. Anyway, as I said, there are multiple gameplays after this outro so keep watching till the end. It has been Lung Jun and bye!
Why do I, baby, why do I Love the touch with never